Hello everyone, let's continue the lesson Lost Spring in this video. In the previous video, we came to know about the number of years these people lived there in Simapuri. They have lived there about 30 years. Okay, now there are about 10,000 rack pickers. They have got ration cards and voters cards. And uh, because of which they also are able to get grains from the ration shops. Then we also came to know that their job is uh, picking uh, garbage, rat picking. Then uh, for the adults it's a means of survival. But for the children it was much more than that. Maybe it was a means of entertainment as well. That is what we checked in the previous video. Now let's continue. Please keep your textbook ready with you so that you may be able to follow it well. Okay. I sometimes find a rupee, even a 10 rupee note, Sahib says. His eyes are lightening up. When you can find a silver coin in a heap of garbage, you don't stop scrounging. For there is a scope for there is a hope of finding more. It seems that for children, garbage has a meaning different from what it means to their parents. For the children, it is wrapped in wonder. For the elders, it is a means of survival. Okay, let's try to understand these lines better. Lightening up, what does it mean? It show joy and happiness. When something is uh, said, uh, if it is uh, good news, your face brightens up. Okay, that is the meaning which is uh, referred here in this part of the lesson. Okay, let's try to understand. Sahib was uh, happy to say that sometimes he found a rupee or even 10 rupee note in the dump yard. As uh, one often finds uh, even a silver coin in the garbage dump. He keeps searching because it gives them more curiosity. Okay? More interest, more eagerness to scrounge. So they start scrounging more. Okay? For children, the garbage was a dump uh, which was only a means of entertainment. But for the parents, for the adults, it was much more than it was a means of survival. Okay, it was a means of uh, aiding survival by providing the basics, food and clothing and shelter. Okay, so by scrounging the garbage only, they earn some money. Okay, let's continue. One winter morning, I see Sahib standing by the fenced gate of the neighborhood club watching two young men dressed in white playing tennis. I like the game, he hums, content to watch it standing behind the fence. I go inside, when no one is around, he admits. The gatekeeper lets me use the swing. Okay, now let's try to understand these words. Okay. One winter morning the writer saw Sahib standing by the fence of a club, okay, a sports club. He was watching a tennis game being played by two young men. Sahib liked the game very much but he could not play it. He told the narrator that he went inside the club when it was, uh, when it would be closed. Okay. The watchman there allowed him to go there. He was allowed to take swings by the God there. The watchman allowed him. Okay. So what does he tell us about these boys? They also have a lot of uh, likes. Okay. A lot of enthusiasm. They also want to be like the people of the mainstream of the society. Like the rich people. But uh, because of the economic poverty, it is not possible for them. Okay. It talks about their longing. To have something okay, which they don't have. Let's continue. Sahib too is wearing 
then his shoes that look strange over his discolored shirt and shorts he might have taken these shoes from the dump yard someone gave them to me ah he has been given he says in the manner of an explanation the fact that they are discarded shoes of some rich boy who perhaps refused to wear them because of a hole in one of them does not bother him for one who has walked barefoot even shoes with a hole is the dream come true but the game he is watching so intently is out of his reach okay let's try to find out the meanings of these words now discarded what does it mean thrown away bother means worry okay the writer saw saheb wearing tennis uh, tennis uh, shoes okay that uh, did not match they did not look appropriate with his uh, dress okay the dress was different color the shoe was of uh, different color okay which was worn out and had faded he told the writer in an attempt to justify himself that someone gave him the shoes she however figured out that he had got them from a garbage dump they must have been thrown away by a boy from a rich family as he did not want to wear them anymore because of a hole there probably they had a hole or two in them due to which they did not want to wear them on the contrary saheb was not bothered about the hole that was there it did not bother him at all okay for someone who did not have shoe the shoe with the hole is nothing okay it doesn't bother him at all he was happy to wear it he walked barefoot and to wear a shoe even with the hole was like a dream for him although due to the garbage dump saheb's dream of wearing shoes had been partially fulfilled but his desire to play tennis would never be fulfilled okay his desire of wearing shoes okay was fulfilled but now his uh, desire to play tennis there will not be fulfilled okay let's continue this morning saheb is on his way to the milk booth in his hand is a steel canister i now work in a tea stall down the road he says pointing in the distance i am paid 800 rupees and all my meals does he really like the job i ask his face i see has lost the carefree look the steel canister seems heavier than the plastic bag he would carry so so light over his uh, shoulder the bag was uh, his the canister belongs to the man who owns the tea shop saheb is no longer his own master okay now let's try to find out the meanings of uh, these uh, lines one morning the writer met saheb who was on his way to the milk booth he was holding a steel canister he told her that he had got a job in a nearby tea stall he is paid 800 rupees per month he would earn that much <coughs> rupees only the writer asked him if he liked the job as he could see that he had lost the carefree look he was happy he looked free but now it is not so he, it, he looks a bit tensed so the narrator is asking whether she, he was happy okay now he says that he was burdened with the responsibility earlier as a rag picker saheb would carry his own bag and was his own master 
now he is no longer his own master his master is the tea stall owner okay so now the change in his life has affected him from being so free in his life now he has been employed by a tea stall owner and he is carrying a canister which is heavier than his weight okay to earn money so a lot of burden he is finding it difficult to take up this responsibility okay this is the end of this video let's uh, talk about the remaining part in the uh, next video onwards okay take care bye bye